You're watching Room with a Man. This is your tropical update. We've got a lot to get to today. First off, Fred crossed the Dominican Republic yesterday and weakened down to a tropical depression and has since stayed that way as it hugs the northern coast of Cuba. So we will see how it does over the next few days. But the thinking is that it will regain tropical storm status before it makes landfall in the Florida Keys sometime on Saturday. And then right now we've got tropical storm watches up for Cuba. And tropical storm watches are also posted for southern Florida. So as we go along, we do have a system that has a lot of potential to strengthen. We have a lot of moisture out there in the Gulf and in the Caribbean Sea. We also have water temperatures near 90 along Florida's west coast. So my recommendations are prepare for a tropical storm in South Florida. And when I say South Florida, I mean Miami, the Florida Keys, and anywhere Naples and to the south. Anywhere Fort Myers and to the north, all the way up the west coast, all the way up till you get to the panhandle, I would say be prepared for hurricane force winds. Though I think the storm as of right now appears to be tracking offshore. But go ahead and prepare for those conditions because a track just barely off to the east would bring the worst of the weather right to your front doorstep from Fort Myers all the way up through Tampa and even all the way up through the rest of the west coast of Florida. And then up along the panhandle, I would prepare for a Category 2 or even a Category 3 because like I said, the water temperatures are very warm and there is ample moisture all through the eastern gulf. And now if we take a look at the forecast model for the amount of rainfall expected out of the system, you can see there is a lot of orange showing up on the map indicating 6 to 10 inches of rain. And those are just models. There will be locally higher amounts of, well, more than that, probably over a foot in some locations. But you see a concentration of this orange in the Miami metro and all along the west coast of Florida, that is a big concern because on top of all the storm surge and the other impacts from the storm, then you also have the rain, which could be totaling, like I said, a foot or more in some locations, and that will only amplify the problem. So now you know what you need to prepare for, but how much time do you have? Well, if you take a look at the chart here, you can see that the tropical storm force winds could be on the front doorsteps of the folks in the Florida Keys as early as tomorrow night. And then we're looking at probably Saturday midday or early afternoon in the Tampa metro. And then for the northern Gulf Coast, we're looking at sometime on Sunday, depending on the exact location. So now that we are three minutes into the video, I'm going to go ahead and move on from Fred I may or may not do another video later tonight with some more analysis for those who want it. So anyway, so let's take a look at some of the other stuff we got going on in the Atlantic because Fred is not it. We've got this other disturbance with a high chance of development. Now it probably will become a tropical depression either tomorrow or over the weekend. And as it does, it will be crossing over the Lesser Antilles and sweeping through the rest of the Caribbean next week. In the Eastern Pacific, Kevin has become post-tropical, so it is no longer a threat. Hurricane Linda is headed out to sea, and you can see there's an H on day four and an S on day five, indicating that the storm will be fizzling out before it gets anywhere near the Hawaiian Islands, so no threat there. And then in the Central Pacific, it's mostly quiet. We have Tropical Depression 16, which is crossing over into the Western Pacific. And that will do it for your Tropical Update. Please give the video a like or a rumble if you're on that platform. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also ring that notification bell because I'll be posting another update tomorrow.